Hello, welcome back, Retropolis. Uh, I'm gonna not. Uh, I'm recording this right after the last one, so you may hear the tilt in my voice. It, it is there. I'm angry. I'm not. I'm, I, it's like, man, it, it, it's a loss that I don't enjoy. It's not a loss where I go like, ah, I lost, but that's fair. It's a loss where I lost and I went, well, there's no fucking way I should have lost this, but I couldn't order my units to fight the enemies properly. And then I get angry. So, moving on. <laughs> Hard mode so far? Uh, you know. Just, uh, it's alright, right? It's hard. I don't wanna... I don't wanna just become a caricature of myself. Oh man, it's too hard. Hard mode. It's too hard. But at the same time, like... I don't know. Take the free population. Plus one's actually pretty nice. I get an extra grain off. We'll see. All right, once I get a win with every on every map with hard mode, I'll make my call on what I want to do. Right? I don't. The thing is, I don't. I don't have anything to prove. I guess. Right? I'm not trying to be like, ah, look at this. I can beat hard mode with my eyes closed. I'm so great at Retropolis. Right? It's. I don't really care. Uh, I just want to make interesting and entertaining runs on uh, out of these and like interesting and entertaining content right i don't really care about uh being known as a really really good ratropolis player or anything like that because I'm, I'm really not right i don't even use the fucking key bindings but you know i, I think that the way to be like oh this guy's real good Berserker? You know, this one, this is like, this is on the mediocre side, for sure. Like, sure, uh, Berserker is better than Militia, right? And this is kind of why I want to take the Advisor, though. Because now I have the chance, with the Advisor, you have a chance to get a better military unit on Wave 2, potentially. As early as. I'm going to take another house. We're just going to power up a bunch of Berserkers here. But no, I think the like if I wanted to be oh I'm real good at this game, then I could super try hard and we could do everything as perfect as I could possibly. But eh, basically, I don't care. I want these runs to be fun and exciting. Do I? I don't. I don't know. I don't. I think I could win streak hard mode, right? It's not. I, but then again, no, I don't, because I think that hard mode's also kind of uh, RNG. It's very dependent on your... Take the random skill. Called Arms? Yo, Called Arms is actually really sick. I like it a lot. Here. It's, I guess, less good than... Uh, since I have Berserker, it's less good, but Called Arms in the early game is a super cheap uh, power-up of your army. I'm just going to take the house. No, I think that I think that the, there is a decent part of these runs that is just luck. And that, that's all like you have to get lucky on getting something good, right? I'm going to put down the militia. It's spitters again, so I'm not going to really build up many guards, but no, like, the, the game is kind of defined, like, no matter what I do, if I don't get offered any reasonable answer to the question of what's my plan for my military or what's my plan for my economy, we lose. Some of the choices I've been making so far you maybe disagree with, right? Because maybe I should be taking removals more aggressively. Uh, and I'm going to now because I should probably be removing out, down, trying to get down to mine and carry me. My idea here is also to uh, throw some militia alongside the berserkers and let the berserkers berserk as my uh, DPS plan. I should stop paying to redraw at this point. It's it's too late. I'm gonna like the plan now is just get a second mining and let that take me to victory. Ride the mining train all the way to Victoryville. Mm. And when I when I said second mining, I of course meant I want grain. Please. Now oh, we got a good answer. Well, is it too late for wharf? Probably. Let me let me see. I have. I think it is. 
gonna make my read. I think Wharf is a lot worse on uh, hard mode since you have less time. I think Wharf gets a little worse because with less time, you, like it, the redraws get more expensive faster, like a lot faster, like very, very much faster. I'm gonna pull out Potter here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get down to five cards, I guess. Maybe we get something good. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, this could be good. If this is... If this is donate a card, I think I can get a free advisor if I donate Blessing, actually. I believe... So you donate a Legendary card, you can donate them the Ephemeral Legendary card. Oh, we got Silent. That's good. Silent's real good. Yeah, that's huge. Okay. So we're... Like, basically, why is Silent so huge? We're now a lot stronger... Uh, a lot stronger if I get offered Steel. Or Forge, right? I can I can do an infinite a lot easier now. That's what I'm trying to say. Guards are probably getting removed. I think against spitters in a higher difficulty, I'm just gonna pull guards out as soon as I see them. Recorder. Ooh. Yeah. Recorder might actually. Re Recorder I think is my most underrated military advisor. Or advisor, not military. Having redraw cost is so nice. Especially if you have something you're trying to scale up like I am here. Mining. I will... I think it, I think it makes it so that I can scale up this mining pretty much. Yeah, there's the heal. Berserker is so weird. Especially with Gladiator. I don't know. It's just a very strange unit. I feel like... 728 yet his health is a lot higher than 28 because of the heal now and also he's my dps but like why i'm gonna take some leader levels here if i can get some cool stuff blessing is cool i'm glad that i got the the that event though i'm really glad i got that event for the silent take the upgrade the main reason I wanted to take the upgrade is so that I could get an upgrade on called arms if I wanted to, which I do want to. I want to throw down a few, uh, a few upgraded militia here on the right side. Give me a mining, please. No? Okay. I, I feel like I've been, I am not taking walls here. I'm just looking for the answer to my problems. I'll take graveyard. It's fine. My problems are just econom economically based. I mean, also army, also population. My problems are everything right now. But, namely, I'm, tr I'm trying to scale mining up, and it's going too slowly. Keep removing unless I get offered exactly mining. I'm going to pull out guards, but this is kind of scary. But also, guards have no place in this army, so... I don't know. What's my long term here? Uh, kind of leave that one up to the fates, so to say. I'm losing money now, I think. What am I gaining? 58, 90, 60, but it cost me... Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm breaking even, more or less. But it will slowly, as long as I play fast enough, it'll it'll go up, right? I only need to play four minings to increase it at a rate faster than I'm losing it. Which is good. I don't have any buildings that produce. Uh, I guess I'll take training. I can't take shock because it, it'll just wipe my army out. It's interesting too that I like I removed militia and yet I still have militia in the army through call to arms. But yeah, mining is scaling thanks to silent recorder. I don't actually need another mining anymore. I think but I can't I can remove experiments maybe. But I think I am gonna stay on the Oh recruiter. Oh recruiter! Yo Huge uh, I get to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, but it's not that huge because I don't have any population because I'm doomed. Ah, but Treasure Hunter is really good. But I have 18 population on wave 10, so... It's fucked. No matter what I take here. Which I think I take Treasure Hunter, right? I could try letting Duckling Rider carry me too. We could see if Duckling Rider can carry me through this storm. 
Can he? I don't know. Three population, two pop. Like the the fact that none of these are one population is rough. I think I'll take Treasure Hunter. I feel the most comfortable with Treasure Hunter. The recruiter puts them in your hand. That's interesting. I'll remove Called Arms now, probably. Although Called Arms is actually really like critical to my plans, as crazy as it is, because it. Uh, it gives something that it gives something other than berserkers to have die, for my berserkers to uh, gain HP when they berserk. These walls are gonna break. Thankfully, uh, as long as I don't make a mistake. Like, what did we learn in the last run? Actually, don't uh, don't walk in there. I learned in the last episode of this to not move my units back like I did, right? And you may look at that and you may go, oh yeah, obviously. But in my mind, I was like, oh yeah, I'm just going to then cancel the move. And they're going to move back right away as soon as they kill that other guy. That's not how it works. Musketeer. I should probably take territory expansion here. I think I can hit minings fast enough right now. I don't think I need territory expansion. Or, yeah, I don't think I need uh, upgrade mining right now. I do need territory expansion. Now, if I want to go, if I want to, I'm going to make the alpha play. This is the, this is the big dick energy play. This is, this is the, I do not feel fear and I laugh in the face of death play. I'm not going to, no, I'm not. This, this is the absurdity play. This is the play that I would make on, uh, on an easier difficulty. However, due to the fact that I have a mission here, I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, fuck. What have I done? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, house is good. Bazaar is actually pretty nice. Uh, this quest is weird. Rally is kind of worthless. Oh, what have I done? Uh, what have I done? Soulflower comboed with um, Graveyard. Isn't bad. Right? It's not terrible, anyway. Uh... Hmm... Sorry, I just, I just had a moment where I, I just had a realization of like, wow, maybe, maybe Funeral's not so bad? <laughs> Which is, that's how you know things are getting a little desperate. I looked at Funeral and went, maybe Funeral isn't so bad? Funeral's terrible. I take back my... Okay, here's the thing. Here's what came to my mind just now. I can't do it anymore, but think about this economic plan. Funeral plus call to arms. I just put down like 20 supply of militia between every wave for, for 60 gold. I play like three funerals and then we make bank. Huh. There's something to try in the future. Not right now, because, uh, you know, I, I just alchemized away my call to arms, but... Think about that one. I don't have called arms, right? Oh my god, I do have called arms. Wait a minute. Alright. Never say that hard mode has taken away my sense of adventure. Because I... Don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. Never do this. I almost want to grab up the... Oh fuck, I've bricked my economy. <laughs> I forgot I had floods. I, I, this is terrible. It's really bad. Don't do it. And don't, and yet. Yeah. Come on, this is, this is great. This is maybe the greatest play I've ever made in my life. I also just sacrificed two berserkers for free. So I wasn't paying attention. Hey, don't break my wall. What the fuck? Why did he break my wall? What the hell? Alright, well. Things are bad. Uh, let's, let's not beat around the bush. I have thrown this run away. Yo, did you hear that little, little tone it played there? <laughs> Things are very bad because, uh, I'm a fool. But, come on. I've gotta, I've gotta at least try some of the crazy stuff that comes to my mind, right? Even if it loses me the run. Which it does. It 100% has lost me this run. You can't do this. I can't do this. Don't do this. Yeah, my walls are broken. I can't... 
Maybe I can repair them in time. I can repair them in time. I just... Uh, <laughs> I threw. But god damn it, I threw for a good reason. Kind of. Maybe not. Kind of depends on your perspective. I'm gonna keep taking the free call to arms to try to put down enough militia to survive a wave. I also gotta get rid of these floods. Maybe this uh, treasure hunter will give me a treasure chest. I think this was just a normal chest. What did I do? You know, we had a good run. I think that was two waves stacked up on me there. Oh good, it's cannons. <laughs> oh good. It's cannons. I'm actually taking card removal on flood because I don't have 75 gold here. I've never seen this. Can you kill these guys? You can. They're attackable. You can kill the cannon. Who knew? That's kind of cool. We're dead as hell. We are so dead. I have never felt... I have never felt something so certainly as I feel that this run is lost. But... I, every, everything went so wrong on me so fast. And by so wrong on me, I mean I self-sabotage. I can't watch the end of this run. Okay, okay, okay. Just... You know, something like doing a call to arms funeral on militia combo as my economic plan is something that would be really fun to try in normal mode that is extremely illegal in hard mode so all right no more fun no fun allowed i took i think i took a territory expansion plus the flood event plus a uh, funeral all at once and just ruined that run in like a, a matter of seconds uh, blessing's cool, actually. Blessing is actually... I'm gonna use it on my house, huh? Yeah, as long as I go fast enough here. We, don't worry, we won't... I won't do anything fun from here on out. I solemnly swear to you, we will only do things that are good and going to win. No more crazy ideas. No more. Upgrading, getting these guys upgraded to Awful Blessing, I, I, I just, the scientist ability is very nice. I'm, I'm big on it. Now that they've changed it to the way it is. I mean, now that they've changed it to the way it is, since they changed it to the way it is. How about that? Getting a free skill is just, it's very, especially with all the newer skills, it's very radicalizing. You can get some cool stuff off of it. Right, like getting a blessing. It, it just it breaks up the the sameness of your first uh, round. All right, I'm gonna take the wall. We're gonna take the advisor. We're gonna hope to get something cool. Ooh, wait a minute. Maybe I'm not taking the wall. Taking the mining. We're taking the double barns. I'm gonna I'm come back for the wall. I it's just I can't. I should be able to get it because I have the grains rolling. I should be fine. Call to arms. Ooh. Free free militia? Yeah. Saves you some money. Alright, we're okay. Bought that, right? No. There we go. Now, I have these- I'm gaining 16 gold every time I discard a card, so right now... I'm just going to play my economy and then redraw it. And I'm going to scale up mining here. Give me a good advisor. Guards- like, it's okay, right? It's okay, it's alright. It's- it's very alright. These runs are, this is like trial runs, by the way, where I'm trying out uh, taking the advisor over taking the double houses like I have been. Just because uh, I did the trial time of doing double advisor. I'm going to take card removal here. I did the double advisor trial time in, or on stream. And then I, or the, the, the double house versus advisor trial time. There we go. On stream. And, but that was on normal mode, so I want to trial both of them on hard mode now and see if the advisors make a big enough difference for me to go, ah, yeah. Of course. Spitters again, huh? That's rough. I, at least we got the sentry, right? The guard's advisor is probably going to save a lot of guard's lives. Lives? Lives? We'll see. We'll see how he does. It's, oh, yeah, third barn. Or steel. Or steel. 
Hmm. I think I'll take the third barn here. Because taking steel right now, it's it's a useless card. Third barn actually gives me something pretty nice. Ooh. I would only be alchemizing a single cheese. Well, I could alchemize militia. Give me this. Let me just let me just make sure, right? Okay. This is the play. Summon pit and horn. Ugh. Those aren't very good. <laughs> Alright. Those are not very good buildings. Yikes. I mean horn's good, don't get me wrong. But you need uh, I, I did the I did the crazy horn run. Summon pit's just not very useful whatsoever. The best thing I can say about summon pit for me here is that at least it's gonna give the it's gonna give them something to shoot at. We do need to remove more cards now. I need to pull out grain. My economy is okay because of the triple barn. But if I get steel now, we're cruising. Armory, we're cruising. Well, kind of cruising. Yeah, I'm just I'm thinking about maybe grabbing something for population, but nah. Oh god, I'm gonna lose. Uh, the problem is this barn is right up against the wall. I didn't have space for it anywhere else, but this is going to be a problem. Because the spitters are going to hit it. I need. There's a lot I need from here. Are these graveyards? No, they're the same price. It's okay, right? The triple barn shall hopefully carry me through. I need to get the wall, and I would like to get the market. I'm only doing this because I think we're safe to survive this wave. Ooh, emergency helps out. Let's me draw two here. I just, I gotta, as long as I survive this wave. Which I think we will. I think we will. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm gonna need to hit the, hit the horn. And that horn's gonna save my life. No! Oh, what a disaster! What a horrible plague! Ah, it's so bad. Might take money here? It's dire, but I think I need to take the money here. I need to get this wall down, right? If this boss wave hits, we're gonna lose the game. Please let me move my units. I mean, what I should say is, if this boss wave hits with the barns up against the wall like this, I'm gonna lose the game. I'm gonna lose the game because the, the spitter boss is just going to break this wall, or break this barn, and then uh, plague rats are gonna walk in. And obviously, oh yeah, I could just... Don't put the market there. I'm gonna have to. But, you know. Gotta deal with it. I can't just live without the market. I think it's okay on this side, right? I shouldn't be too bad off. But... Yeah, this is bad. This run's going very poorly. Maybe I can thorn fence? Nah. It doesn't do anything for me. Go down the summon pit. I'm just gonna use these guys right as soon as I get them. Because all I need right now is something to frontline for me. Specialize is good, except for that it's not good because it's way too expensive. All of these buildings are way too expensive. But like also... <sighs> Seeker's okay. Go down some earth spirits. I need to. I need to bump up my... Uh, my number of guards, right? It's it's really just I cannot get ahead of I can't get the number of guards I need right now. That's all I'm facing as my problem. Oh, the market is tanking for this guard. I didn't know the market would tank for my guards. That's kind of good, I guess. No, I'm dead. There's no way. There's no way out. Yeah. I don't even know what went wrong in this run. But this is this is kind of how I expected hard mode to start going. Once like I just. I'm not getting uh, things that I need in these runs, is what it feels like. I'm gonna give it one more go. I'm just, I'm not getting, I think really, maybe I should just stop alchemizing like I have been. It's, it's too high rolly, right? I got, I turned my economy into two bad buildings. That's what went wrong there, really. I turned what was a good econ, like a, a passable economy into, uh, I don't have any cheese or pottery, I just have... 
fucking summon pit horn, which doesn't uh, do well. Take the keep here. I'm, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna stop doing, uh, I'm, I'm gonna stop trying to do fun, interesting things, and we're gonna do, like, a very standard run. I'm gonna play straight up, and we're gonna, we're gonna take this one home. I'm not gonna do anything, I'm gonna, I'm gonna minimize the variance as much as I can here. Uh, I've played this like a, like an actual normal run, and I have, uh, played four begrains. This is good, though, because I kind of wanted to see if one militia holds this wave still. So, I just kind of assumed that he doesn't, because of the health increase on the enemies, but maybe he does. Let's find out. Because if, if this is the case, then I've been ruining my early game economy for nothing, right? It looks like he might. He does, okay. So I don't- okay, okay. That's- this is very important information. Shield rat right out the gate? This is excellent. This is excellent. Yeah. Uh, give me, give me the immigration. Okay. This is, I'm, I'm very focused here. I'm trying very hard. I can't handle two full episodes of just losing repeatedly. I can't I don't, this, this has been 26 minutes of recording already. I don't know how. Where has, what have I been doing? Just losing a lot, I guess. I almost want to try collect here, but nah. This isn't the time to be trying things. This is the time for me to be utilizing what I do know. Although it is also the time to be trying things, right? Because I need to see what I can do and have work. <laughs> like, what do I what do I really feel if I'm trying to give myself the best chance of winning? I feel like taking fucking random advisor is a great way to end up with something not very good, right? What I'm feeling like is even, I was like, I was thinking, ah, well, if I get something mediocre, it's all right. But in reality, like, getting Gladiator as something that's mediocre, eh, pretty mediocre. Similarly, I just, I don't feel like any of the really okay stuff is worth it. Namely, I think, I just think that is when I get a really mediocre military advisor, I feel like I got burned from taking advisor from that event. That's how it feels. Right now. Yeah, this is a much more uh, solid opening here than I am having. We got lucky with the shield wrap, but we would still be strong if I had gotten uh, none of these helps. I guess I should take one just to be uh, rule lowering the cooldown. I would be just as fine with Militia, though. I kinda, I think I might have wanted to take the removal there. Maybe I should have removed Militia. I don't know, I do value leveling up my leader ability on Scientist, to be fair. It really is just, it's hard for me to play out with, with the number of houses, right? We're already at 25 population. If As long as you take two houses, like you get your population very high. These are fat boy waves, huh? That's good, I think. It's better than I think. I think Fat Boys might be the easiest wave as long as you're ahead, which I am ahead right now. Yeah, we get the card removal here. Pull out militia. I'm not opposed to going steel here, right? I don't need to, but I kind of hold on to experiments just in case I want to get, like, in case I pick up a steel. If I get offered it, then I have a economic move. And you can make steel as an economic move with Potter. It's just a lot. It's pretty meh. I will pick up, like, collector lottery here. Double patrol. Oh, double patrol. Double patrol works. Every time I've had this, it's worked out. And I think that this is fine. I can also, I should experiment with it. Yeah, I should experiment with it. I I have not been attacked from the left side yet. How crazy. Do I want to buy the wall or the house? No, I think I think I want to funnel my money into patrolling here. Am I a, uh, a oil baron? Because I really want to spend a lot of my money on patrol. The um. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that one was real bad. 
Holy shit, butterfly economy. Yo, actually, show me a butterfly. Come on. Yeah, give me that shit. 100 gold, baby. My economy has been stabilized by a single butterfly. Actually, like, that was kind of huge, though. That butterfly is going to help my economy out more than it can know. Uh, I think we're okay. I need to make sure that my left side is good. Give me these two. Give me this five. 200 gold right here. Come on. Clicking the butterflies is not easy. Ironclad? Ironclad's really good. Uh, upgrading patrol, I think, is less important since I have two of them. I'm gonna take ironclad. Now, I am. Uh, I'm not gaining on my patrolling, right? I am. I am slowly bleeding out. Not really bleeding out, but uh, my costs are staying about the same. That's what I should say. Take the higher. Give me some good stuff. It could also give me Exiled and Militia. The Druid's good. Exiled and Militia. Well... We're alright, I think. I've got a decent amount. Ah. Mostly just trying to... Uh, Trying to rebuild my guards here. God, that needs to not happen to me also. I am, I'm just staying about the same. It's It's got the lower bound, right? We know I've done it before. You have the, there's the lower end. We get to a, we reach a point where this becomes cash flow. Like we, we earn infinity money from it, basically. Infinity money, roughly. Rough estimate of how much money I make when this goes my way. I've just got to get there. Easier said than done. Oh my god, I, all right, that one was my fault. I played the cheese on accident. It's harder too on the higher difficulty because of the fact that the waves come faster. It's a lot harder to get out ahead of things as I'm trying to here. Even with two of them, it's kind of rough. But if I get down to the zero, right, if we zero it out, it's pretty good. I'm gonna grab the wall. No, I don't want to grab the wall. The thing about grabbing the wall... Take the raise tax, hell yeah. The thing about grabbing the wall there is that, uh, it, it's just, it's really hard to find myself putting a wall down on this run. My god, alright. Come on. It's a one in four, it's fine. Druid does seem to tend towards, uh, stunning a specific unit. Like they just target one unit and spam them down, which is fine. I should I'm gonna remove experiments at this point. I don't need it anymore. I think it's served its purpose. We have a, a solid army though. I think it's I think we're alright. Plus with the raise tax, like too bad I didn't go for the collect, but eh, what are you gonna do? Kind of, kind of balance and right on the edge of uh, running out of money. Like we're just barely not out of money. I should, I should upgrade patrol. That's, uh, that's the takeaway here. I should definitely upgrade patrol. I thought with two of them I would be good. I mean, we're at sixty, which is solid. It's, it's slow. We're slowly getting there, right? But the waves they keep on are coming. Assassin. Take the leader level up is fine. I'm making I'm making choices very fast here. I'm playing very fast. I'm very I'm sitting up. I'm very leaning forward in the chair. I'm considering using the key bindings. That's how that's how I'm feeling right now. Plus five second the wave period for twenty plus twenty percent building repair time. I don't want to lose five tax. I'm going to take the wave period on this. Even though it really sucks on this map, it's hopefully gonna suck less because it like it's gonna suck through ten through for ten through twenty if we're against uh, the ones that break your buildings. We're gonna lose time overall because of the time I'm gonna have to spend repairing. But I think it should be worth it. Like the the time we earn from for twenty through thirty should be good. I'm actually gonna grab a raise tax upgrade here. I've diversified my income plan a little bit here. Uh, we we can hit an equilibrium now, is the play. I will not alchemize. I said I wouldn't, I will not. We can we can hit a income... Oh. 
hundred percent what happened there is I didn't like I didn't register that I drew race tax and that's all there is to it. Cause it was the last card I drew. I didn't realize I drew it until after I clicked discard. Otherwise I would have just played it, right? We're like it's really close. I think we're you can see we're amping up a little bit here. Right? I mean you can see you can keep your eye on the redraw cost and see we're amping up here. I'm not buying anything from the merchants because I just need to patrol myself down to third to zero and then we can have as much money as I want. Right? That's all of it that's all it is right now. Patrol to zero and then have all the money in the world. Cause I'll be able to raise the taxes as high as I want. We're there. I've I've gained enough. Now I just need to populate and maybe get a third unit. Right? Probably don't want to live my life on Shield Rat Guards, because Shield Rat Guards has lost on normal, so I can see Shield Rat Guards losing on hard pretty easily. Probably want to put in some sort of midliner. Uh, ideally, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to invoke his name for no reason, but like Banner Rat would be my ideal here. Lottery, lottery is like, it, it I don't need it basically. I'm not going to remove either, because the thing is, removing is only really important when you're worried about your economy in my mind, because... When I'm redrawing like this, anyway. When I'm redrawing like this, since I don't have an infinite to drop or anything like that, I have... I can have a thousand cards in my deck and it shouldn't really matter. I mean, a thousand cards, obviously, is the extreme. That's, that's a little much, but I can access my cards for free now. So no matter how many cards I have, it's fine. Don't need a card, sure. I will still send them cards. Right, We there are cards I want to get rid of now. We want to get rid of Potter and Cheeses. Probably want to get rid of one of the patrols. Just to make the deck more consistent when I need it to be. Right? We've we've gotten there though. I've I've focused up, I've stopped fucking around. Take the take the stuff that I know works. We're on the path to a victory. Because I've solved the biggest question, which is how is my how am I going to get economy rolling? And now that I have done that, we can kind of look to the future of this run. What's the future now? I just I need to get a stronger damage output plan. Guards without anything helping them is not a strong enough damage output plan. Be doing this right? I should be getting. I probably missed out on like t eight population from not getting immigrations. Am I willing to take any midline unit? No. Uh, I will not take Pike Rat, because I think Pike Rat is not an answer to the question, how do I do damage? Pike Rat doesn't really help you in that respect. In my opinion. The midliners I'll take, I'll take Treasure Hunter, Musketeer, Crossbow. I'll take... Uh, like, Banner Rat, obviously. Maybe... what else? I'll take, like, Horn plus Work, I guess, would work. Battle Cry would probably be fine. Uh, that's, that's all I can really think of. We'll see, right? I We could also just get Longsword, I guess, and Longsword could probably handle it. This is the boss who... this is canon, so it sucks because repair times are very long, because I took... but I took the extra wave time, right? So the time that I lose here is time that I gained to get my patrol up and running. Which was important, it was very worth it. But we don't get to watch the fighting because I just have to sit here and hold click. There's an event popping up. I want to get some repair stations, obviously. Wire? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. I guess. It's like, it's one of the ones that people tout as a strong plan. Duckling Rider. Yeah, I think this is, this is a good military plan. I don't need the upgrade. So it's Duckling Rider or it's Expansion Territory. Oh, God. What a tough question. Duckling Rider is an answer, though. Like, it is, it is, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna take Duckling Rider. He is too strong. I can't not say say yes to Mr. Duck. 
But yeah, you know, so th this is something that I want to point out, right? 30 something minutes or 40 minutes in this video now. The the thing that I've noticed the most about, uh, we'll take salvage here for sure. The thing that I've noticed the most about uh, these hard mode runs, and it doesn't surprise me, I knew this would be the case. It's much more difficult for me to actually have conversation. Oh, I ruined salvage because I'm a fool. That's okay. Well, just, it's just pretend I got money from that salvage. It's, it's harder for me to start up and have like a nice little uh, conversation, right? It's just because I have to focus up if I want to have any chance of winning these runs, which I do. I do want to have a chance of winning these runs. Poor shield rat. I would, like, I really, I would like it if I was allowed to, like, position my units. That's what I would like right now. I think it would maybe make the game, I mean, it would make the game a lot easier if you could position your units how you want them. But, mainly the thing that it would make easier is I would be able to just, like, throw my guards, like, two steps back and then they would just be unkillable. We start slowly mixing in some ducks. We take in colony. Nah, I don't need colony. Our economy is set. set. We let this guy cook up to professional status. But no, it's harder for me to have like an actual dialogue and have a train of thought that isn't related solely to the game. Which, you know, depending on why you watch these videos, you may be like, oh, thank God. I don't know. Uh... I also think that eventually I will reach a point where I am good enough at hard mode that I can play while not really giving it my full attention. I should just set up the buffer. Yeah, let's just set up the buffer so I stop losing units. That's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna take a lot of losses for this, but it's okay because taking these losses lets me Put down more ducks, which is fine. Like, honestly, it's fine. Wait, why are you guys going... Oh, this is just my units continuously getting pulled, isn't it? Yeah. It's okay. I don't know. This is just like I should... What are you guys doing? Or What are they doing? <laughs> what are you doing? That's, that's that shit I don't like. The thing about having the buffer wall set up is that sometimes the waves just stack up on you, right? That's that's what I have noticed and why I've kind of shied away from doing it sometimes. You set up the buffer wall and then the enemies just like, they, they stack two waves on you basically. And it becomes problematic. Mm, I don't really care about any of these. I guess I could take Fire Spirit? Eh. Oh, it's only on a specific unit. That's good to know. I probably should be taking houses and not removal. Uh, the repair times. They hurt. So yeah, we're gonna have, I'm gonna have like, probably, I still wanna have some shield rats in. Also, we gotta, I gotta be on top of repairs here. Or else we're gonna be repairing for a very long time. Right, this isn't necessarily time that I'm losing, so to say. But it does feel like time that I'm losing to me. Having to hold down left click on anything on these things. Are my shields all dead? I think they might be. I can't tell. I think they are dead. It's fine though, we got ducks. I'm gonna let movement speed take me through, hopefully. I'm gonna upgrade a duck. Yeah, 35 more health is good. This is why I don't like taking the event that makes you increase repair time. So uh, what did we learn? We learned at this point, uh, we get this later. I don't take military advisor. I think I take building advisor. That's a building advisor. All right, that's fine. I was hoping for, <laughs> honestly, I was hoping for repair, man. I refreshed here to hopefully find, I'll take special. Looking for here, uh, rep repair houses. Was it? I think it's called firehouse. I don't remember. Just anything to make it less painful for me to repair is what I was hoping for. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna not have many shields on this side. 
Right, we'll just let the ducks handle it. And then on this side, I do need need to be a little concerned. I suppose. Huh. Uh, oh yeah, we have assassin. I forgot. I don't know, I should probably cap my money, which I can do now that I've specialized. I can easily cap my gold here. Well, maybe not easily, but I should be able to if I just specialize raise tax. Right now, I, it's not going to cap my gold right away, but it's going to give me a decent amount. Yeah, and all of these ducks. We're, we're looking good here. The thing about capping my money is I can, I can just like do whatever the hell I want when I do that. Check the cards. Let me just keep removing. I want to get rid of one of the patrols now. My the thing is like one you can you can stop patrolling at a certain point. Plus one leader level or upgrade a card. I'll take plus one leader level. Oh, the upgrade. Nah, I'll take the leader level. It's fine. We can we can stop patrolling because I have. Ah. <laughs> ah. That one kind of hurts. I have, uh, I, I have the money to re pay for redraws, more or less. Don't patrol away specialize, thank you. Oh, I can also, like, specialize, specialize, right? There's something about this. But I don't remember how it works, so never mind. Raise tax, and then specialize again and then raise tax. Oh, you have to have the upgraded specialize for it to work. I remember now. I just I hate the aerial invade mechanic. It's it's not I don't I think it's a cool mechanic. I just think that it's really messy with the way that unit AI works. Oh, melee your melee units get fucked up if you have Duckling Rider. That's what's going on. I see. That's why they're having so much trouble here. They're getting confused because they're like, oh, Duckling Rider is in combat all the way out there. I gotta go help him. You don't gotta go help him. Take it easy, buddy. Thanks to the extra wave time, I guess, it's not so bad. This is basically just a regular run at this point. I need to start taking houses. And I need to specialize these houses out for sure. Actually, can I, can I potentially... Let me go for this, right? I'm gonna go for the, the double house. I'll get it eventually. Like, if I redraw enough times, I will draw specialize... And then I'll draw specialize again with house. Not this time. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this though. I'm gonna get the extra house. There we go. I did it. And can you no I don't think it works. If I had a way to draw it back, I would. But it's like it's important for me to do things like that, right? I should have probably checked the discovery to hope for another house even. Oh, I can specialize out a royal guard. Cool. God, specialize is such a good card. Like, it truly is one of the best cards in the game. You get to do so much bullshit with it. Huh. Population, grab the event. Slums? No. Well. No. Well. Nah, I don't need it. It is good to have slums, but I don't think like, there's any reason for me to take the slums here. Almost. Almost through. Almost through. Should I take another wall? Probably not. I need to I need to look, but I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm just looking. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try and cheat out an extra house off of this because I think it's important. I'll get there eventually. May as well do some raise taxes while we're here. Oh yeah, also this guy might just kill me. I always, I always forget to take this guy seriously, and then I see him, and then I go, oh fuck, that's right. It's this guy. Fucking world ender. This dude's the Dark Souls of this game. I was thinking maybe I should try and get an extra uh, royal guard out, but nah. Yeah, also, he's broken all of my buildings, so I can't necessarily uh, ever... Get them back, and we're gonna fight outside the range of my guards, and I'm gonna complain about it. It's good. I like it. I don't like it, if you were wondering. I, uh, I actually hate it. 
My royal guard is getting killed because he's fighting uh, way out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Things are not going well. I've lost a lot of population. There's a lot of blood on the floor. Please die. This is this enemy, like, on hard? Holy shit, he's even more scary than on normal mode. Holy fuck, he just killed all of my ducks. God, I hate this guy so much. His damage output is so high. Holy shit, get away from me. Please. Oh god, look at all the buildings I have to repair. Ah. Assistant, I don't even need to look at the other things. I think that no matter what they offer me, I'm gonna take assistant there. Random advisor, innkeeper's cool. <sighs> I hate that I took the event that makes me have to do this, but also I think I had to take that event to have any chance. If you live through wave 20, I think that if you live through wave 20, you're probably gonna make it. I'm not happy with the number of losses I've taken in this game in recent days. However, uh, it also kind of... You know, it's a, it's a little bit of me being a little, uh, ah, well, how absurd can I push this, you know? I did, I did do maybe some things that were ill-advised in some of the earlier runs. The other option, I guess, would have been to upgrade Specialize, right, which is good. Losing that Royal Guard sucked. After all of that time waiting, he just walked out and died to the Wave 20 boss. Nothing I can really do about it either. At least I don't think there was anything I could do. I don't think there's any- I mean, I guess I could maybe try to put him down a little later. After the ducks got wiped out, but then I think he would just get killed by the wave 20 boss anyway. We're just gonna- I'm just gonna power out a shitload of ducks, by the way. If you're wondering the plan here. The plan is just to have so many ducks. Probably had an idea that that was the plan based on my current affairs. I have Ironclad, so I don't need to take Medic. We're gonna keep doing the Specialize to cheese out extra houses. And I'm gonna make a lot of ducks. A lot of ducks, though. Like, a very large number. I should be checking this, but I don't really need to, right? Even taking things like Invite is a waste of my time. Let me just do a little specialized action. I don't know. Do I really need to? Eh. Three race taxes is enough to get me settled. So I have 134 population. I should probably just put down like I should I should put down an even number of units on either side so that when the enemies finally do come from the left side after I don't know a hundred waves or so. How many waves has it been since the enemies hit the left side? I don't remember. It's been too long. I it was like. I think it was before wave 16. It's been almost five or six waves at least. Eight, nine. Go to eight over here on these guys. This is just, I, I, this isn't me uh, trying anything new or interesting, right? I knew, I knew, and you knew, Duckling Rider can carry. Duckling Rider is so strong. My man is, he's on my, he's very high on my units tier list. My power ranking of all of the military units in this game. I've been thinking about doing a little, like... Again, like I did the card review of all the military units, but I've been thinking about doing, like, a... Here's my official power ranking of all of the Retropolis military units based on strength, in my opinion. Mm, I had the house. Uh, I'm gonna just play it out because I don't really have the space, right? Oh, I do have the space. What am I talking about? I'm gonna play it out because I'm lazy. Or not play it out because I'm lazy, I should say. We're good, right? From this position, I think we've won. I have 142 population. Nothing interesting happens from this point on, I don't believe. Maybe something crazy happens, right? I've had a few runs where I've said that and then lost on the final boss. Maybe maybe the boss... Uh, maybe, what is it? maybe we'll see the octopus again. That'll be fun. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But no, like, I guess, like, it's weird because I... 
I guess I transition myself into the more laid back commentary section towards the end of these runs when things are like handled. I guess we can do we can do a little post mortem on how I feel about hard mode on the coast. I think the coast is oh it is the octopus, cool. No idea what he actually does. I think the coast is probably middle of the road in difficulty. Even though, like, all of my talking about, I lost how many runs? I think this is my... Like, it, it took me the longest to get to the victory here, but I don't think that that's indicative of anything. Yo, he stole all my fucking cards. Hey. <laughs> Bitch, give him back. Oh, God. Oh, take all my money. Please, God. I refuse to... Re I refuse to repair anything more than I have to on this run. You cannot make me. <laughs> I am prepared for this earthquake. I will not repair. God, no, please. 3-7, what a strange health for my guards to be at. It's also like, it's not game ending, right? It's free to redraw and I have raised tax and my taxes were already up. Let's see if I can figure out how you do the specialized thing that people have told me about, because I actually don't know yet. It's like, if you... you can specialize with upgraded specialize if you specialize itself, right? Let's see if I can do this right. Uh, I don't know if I need a card for this. I think it's... I think it's just you specialize and then you redraw, right? And then you just specialize... And then I can just alternate between the two cards, right? Like this? Yeah. This is what someone has told me you can do with Specialize, but I've never tried it because I feel like it's really easy to fuck up. Right? Because you're, you're constantly in, like you have to be able to make your decisions in under this amount of time. Maybe not. Maybe not. Because it is upgraded Specialize here. Hang on, let me, let me write, let, it, let, let me let the timer run. Maybe you don't, you just have to make sure you play Specialized first. No, because then how you, how do you get another Specialized back? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why I don't like it. I feel like I'm... I don't, I don't want to have to be under that sort of pressure. Yeah, like, no way in hell do I ever want... I would never... Because think about that, right? I think someone, someone brought that up to me as a way that they used to beat Nightmare Mode. And that basically means that you have to be fully focused on not fucking up your specialize for like three hours i can barely focus on not fucking up my infinites for three hours where i just have to play three cards and not more than three cards you think i'm gonna get through that without fucking it up hell no but like there's an option maybe there's a better way to do it that i don't uh know yet but i probably won't know i'm just gonna tell you straight up I, probably, I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't stop my, my ducks. I was, I was throwing down some shield rats to even it out, right? Just to have them, I guess, it's nice. But also, they don't really do anything for me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm mostly looking for immigrate here. We could rally, I guess. If I rally... Uh, no, I'm not gonna take Rally. I can Rally because a lot of the units didn't get the assistant health bonus, but I'm just gonna- t I want you to know, I know that I can do that, and I don't care. Yeah, no, I- I really, uh, don't care at all. Like, I'm mostly gonna be getting health on guards, too, which doesn't really matter. There's no reason I should get health on guards. Oh, I can use that specialized thing to infinite out a bunch of houses, though. That's good to know. That's helpful. Right, as long as I draw the house. As long as I draw the house. As long as I draw the house and specialize together. Right, so we just play a house, and you play specialize, and you just house, and you specialize your house. Specialize your house. Grab a goal wall here. Yeah, how, did I house or specialize? Let's just specialize. House, specialize house, specialize house, specialize house. Notice in the, notice in the trend here, specialize house, 
I'm gonna specialize and then you house. And then in a twist, I'm gonna specialize and then house. I'm gonna specialize in house again, I think. And then I'm gonna come over here and I was thinking maybe I'd specialize and then house. And then I'm out of space. But, uh, you know, can they steal my ephemeral cards? Wait, this would be really sick if you could steal these cards. Like, if you could steal the house from me. Actually, it doesn't matter because I'm at population cap off of that. Right, never mind. I do want to specialize the wall. Hey, don't steal my specialize. I was playing that. Rude. <laughs> Very rude. Oh, fuck, I got this event. I'll take enemy wave period down. It doesn't matter at this point. I didn't even realize. Yeah, the ironclad is keeping all of my ducks alive. Also, like, it's super... He's he's just holding it down. No, uh, no fun bullshit with March or anything like that. Yeah, actually, putting, putting the shield rats down is bad, isn't it? Because then they get the waves frozen out in the middle of nowhere for some reason. Yeah, I shouldn't do that. I don't want any of this pass. Is that guy 30, 90? 30, 60. That said 90. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna- I'm actually gonna do the- I, this is- the specialized trick is kind of nice though for like powering out a bunch of something, right? Like now I can- I can use this to just cap my army very fast. Don't do this if you don't have money. Let's see what this event is. Yeah. I'm just gonna power up like 13 more ducks from this and then we're gonna kick back and relax. Right? Let me see what we got on this side, 18? We'll go to 25 on this side, and then we'll do it on the other side. It's, uh... You know, this episode's gonna be a long one, right? Since I sat forward and started trying hard on the last run. Or, like, at, at 26 minutes, I was like, well, I've lost enough. Let's try and win now. Not to imply that I wasn't trying, but, like, I was trying while also trying some stupid things. Give me a building card here. I'll take the upgraded watchtower. Ooh, we could specialize a bunch of watchtowers. Oh, God, specialize is such a good card. <laughs> it's such a good card. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the patrol away. I patrolled so much. All right, we're at 40 now. I patrolled down a lot, though. We need to specialize. We go ahead and throw some watchtowers, because why not? You can, what we learned in a recent episode is you get to, watchtowers can hit up against the wall up to six back. This is your max range for a watchtower, from here to here. And since I can't put down any more units, well, any more, uh... I can put down more units, but, uh, not more ducks. May as well put down a bunch of watchtowers for the hell of it, right? This is just me flexing, because I've finally gotten a win. Yeah, now we- now that- I mean, maybe I haven't won, right? Maybe the octopus is gonna surprise me. I did hypothesize, here's a way that I lose, right? What if I just get, uh... What if the octopus just steals all my military cards and then wipes my army, right? But it doesn't seem like the octopus is strong enough to do that. I don't know. As you can see. Might only be five backs and- uh, is this one shooting? It is shooting. So, your range is about to here. Which is pretty good, it's about... If I were to estimate, I would say that this is about the length of one, like, one one stretch from here to here, right? That's my guess. I don't need anything. Yeah, there's another trick you can use in the future. You can use the specialized combo. I'll, I'll, I'll illustrate it for you one more time here, just, like, in step by step, now that I understand it properly. So, if you want to do a specialized infinite on a card, you need to, first of all, you need to have upgraded specialized. You can't do it with a regular specialized. You have to play your specialized, and then you have to draw it again alongside whatever card you want infinite, so let's do it with raise tax here. Then you just, you play specialize to give yourself an ephemeral specialize. You raise tax using the second cast from your first specialize. The second cast from your second specialize gets used on both of these cards and you just alternate forever. As you can, as you can clearly see. We just uh, sit here, we alternate between these two cards forever. This, this will work for as long as you don't let this one run out, right? So now, every my next two cards are played twice, and it doesn't have to be uh, the same card. So 
you just play whatever two cards you want, right? But one of them has to be specialized, right? You could you could switch in the middle of this over to a different card if you wanted to, but keep in mind you only have 10 seconds to make a choice, which is why I don't really like it. If only I had March here, though. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If only I had March here, though. I can have March here. Hang on a minute. <laughs> The main usage of this is to power out a bunch of houses or other population buildings that you want to have a lot of, like I did, right, to cap your population. Give me March, cowards. I dare you. I fucking dare you to give me March. I dare you. I'll do it with I'll grab Reuse real quick, because uh, Reuse Specialize will make me cool down a lot faster here. It actually doesn't count as much, huh? I'm gonna find it, I swear to you. Give me the march, I dare you. I dare you. I have so many specializes going at this point, it's just confusing. Here comes the big octopus. He's gonna steal my cards. Don't, don't, no, no march. Okay. Unfortunate. But you could use this on something like Immigration also. I, I should have grabbed Immigration to illustrate. You could use this on Immigration to give yourself infinity population if you have the money. Because Immigration would... I think this guy doesn't steal cards like he's supposed to. Right? Because he never has stolen a card from me. Maybe I have to redraw for him to steal cards? I don't understand. But because, because of the way Immigration works, you could use that to cap your population from Immigration. This boss is like one of the easiest bosses in the game, by the way. In my opinion. He doesn't like the I think that I think that he's broken. I don't think he steals cards like he's supposed to. Oh wait, he has stolen cards. There he goes. I guess he just has to cast it enough times to steal them. But yeah, he's stolen every card in my deck. So now like if I were to get wiped here, he's very unforgiving, right? That's what it is. All right, we did it. We got a victory. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. Helps me out a great deal. Subscribe for more. We got Ratropolis. Stone Shard will be back. Uh, let's see, one of these episodes. Stone Shard's back today, actually. If you like Stone Shard, Stone Shard will return. I should have opened the episode with this. I should have opened the morning episode with this, but I forgot. So, oh well. I'll tell you about it tomorrow morning. Or if you're still here, I'll tell you about it now. Stone Shard's back today. Uh, I should. I took Friday off, aka yesterday. And I, uh, I took the entire day to record YouTube stuff. So gonna be probably another episode of in depth coming up, maybe two in depth episodes, and gonna be some stone chart. So if you're looking forward to that, hell yeah, uh, subscribe for more for those things, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>